welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin. I'm Tarsha. And this is, of course, Conversation with the Crawleys. And this video is all about one of our favorite shows, which is coming to an end, at least for this season, um, Ready to Love. Yes. And so uh, if this is content that you enjoy, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, hitting the likes, requesting notifications. And I'm going to give you a hint. Listen, there are some things that are, we're about to uh, be a part of. We want you to be a part of it as well. Um, so make sure you are hitting that subscribe, like, and notification so you stay tuned to everything that we have going on on this channel, right? Right. Ready to jump into it? Let's jump. All right. So this week on Ready to Love, it picks up really like right at the end of last week. <laughs> right. Um, AJ is by the fire pit, it looks like, with Kyra. Yes. They're hanging out, and he's like, you're not ready to love. Yes. But wait. I changed my mind. You are ready to love. You are ready to love because I want a second chance. So, <laughs> he, what do you, you know? Go ahead. What do you think about that? You know, I just think, you know, he's holding her hand, can't let go of her hand. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a little disappointed, but at the same time, she couldn't make any clear decisions. Right. And he's asking her. Everyone's asking her. You gonna make a decision because right. your journey is ending. Right. <laughs> So it's not like you got another year right. to make a decision. Right. You know, um, but for AJ, it's more AJ because he needed to make a decision and he decided that because of their prior history mm -hmm. that he really wants to take this risk, yeah. right? And love is a risk. It always is. Absolutely. You know, we understand mm -hmm. that. And, you, you know... But you want to take calculated risks, right? Mm -hmm. You want to know that this person's in the game with you. Right. Instead of you trying to pursue them and, and for them to make a final decision to be you. Yeah. But he decides to keep her around. Mm -hmm. And he now has to tell Alexis, somebody got to go. So. What? Well, listen. <laughs> you got to go leaving. home, but you got to get up off of right. that show. Right. Ready to love, like, your, the budget is somebody's leaving. <laughs> right. Uncle Tommy is like, listen. <laughs> One of y'all, listen, he told AJ, one of them got to go. One of them got to go. So Cut he, somebody, right? Somebody. <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah. So, it was, the power really, if we're honest, was with AJ. That's Correct. who had the power. Correct. Yes, it was a guy's, you know, having the decision. But right. because everybody was so locked up and so booed up, yep. it really came down to AJ's decision. Mm -hmm. And he second guesses his decision. And, right. And um, chooses Kyra and then has to go tell Alexis. We're going to be in each other's life for a long time. No, we're not. But we're not going to be in each other's life in the way you think. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know, because she's already kind of already nervous. She's like, right. okay, you're calling me. You know, I'm hoping this is good news, but something's telling she's me like, it's not good it. news. Holy Spirit was speaking to her right then. <laughs> Man, she had a whole sermon. I was like, I think she had created a whole message Listen, on her little cameo time. Don't be surprised if Alexis come out with a ready to love uh, dating singles conference, conference or something like that. <laughs> okay. Listen, in fact, Alexis, if that if and you watch, take that idea and run with it. Run with get it. Get you a women's conference okay. for singles and listen. Let's do it. Go it. All right. Call us in if you need some speakers. Hey. Hey, right. but <laughs> but hey, so you know, he's trying to talk to her and he tells her he's not ready for love, you mm -hmm. know. And for Le for Alexis, let's think about this. You know, she decided to make a choice on somebody instead mm -hmm. of allowing them to make the choice for her. Right. And I think there was just a growing period for her. Yeah. And that she'll find someone. Yeah. Know? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. And then so the ladies all show up to the ladies' lounge. You know, yes. you got Amber walking in. Yes. You got V walking in. Yes. You got, you got Liz, Liz walking, walking in. in. And they sitting down. Kyra. What? What you doing here? So <laughs> let's let's think about this. You have outside perspective looking mm -hmm. at all the relationships. Yep. And none of these women thought Kyra was going to be here also. Right. So when you take that into perspective, you have to understand it's like, okay, AJ, you making this decision when we were talking about prior about what you need mm -hmm. and what, what you, you want. want. And so I feel like, okay, I feel like everybody's on the right track. Right. Because again, we're not in his moment. Right. We see it from the outside in. But Kyra sits down, like, hey guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Tommy's like, okay, you know, you all have an assignment this week. Right. The assignment is to get past the idea of just being a couple. No, um, dating. Dating, okay, yeah. dating, and move towards being a couple, a couple in, in into a relationship, right? right? Mm -hmm. 
Um, and so that's kind of the assignment. And so right. the ladies do undertake that assignment, right? Yeah. So V and uh, and Joel. Yeah, they're they really deciding like, yeah, I want mm-hmm. you to be my my man, my mm-hmm. woman. We're gonna we're gonna work through this together, yeah. and you know. And they get past the the uh, the first real hiccup mm-hmm. in a relationship, right. which was you know he got someone else's name in his mouth, right? <laughs> right. Let's just right. you know that's that. If we're honest, that's a red flag though. <sighs> Because it if is. you get upset, if you get angry, you're going to put somebody else's name right, in your mouth? Right. That's not how it works when you, instead of you working through it, your right. goal is to hurt someone else because you're upset. Right. You know, um, yeah. I, I said it before, I'll say it again. If some other dude name come out your mouth, we got issues. <laughs> you we, should. Okay. You should have Just issues. Just so clear. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's that's whether you want to call it, you know, whatever it was, it was immaturity, right. it was vengeance and spitefulness right. whatever um it just wasn't a good look and and the fact that they're able to at least at this point move past it is good sure. but it should you know in my opinion at least give v some pause to say mm-hmm. if we have another um another hiccup mm-hmm. what's your response going to be correct yeah so um and then liz and jason meet yes they meet and he put it on again. He trying to put it on thick. <laughs> he he says all the right things. Right. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that right now. Oh, you leaving it at that? He okay. says all the right things. No, well, I will say this. All right. So because this is when he gives the rose. Yes. So you know she does say I'm gonna throw a curveball at you, mm-hmm. and she does because Kyra had said some things at the ladies' lounge. Mm-hmm. She does throw out if Kyra was more certain about her mm-hmm. feeling towards Jason. Would Jason be there? Mm-hmm. And with Liz, I should say. Mm-hmm. And and Jason responded and said he made his decision two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Now, when we were watching it, I was like, I don't believe him. No, I don't because I don't remember that he was specifically asking her. Right. You know. You know. What's your decision? Right. Because you were too close to the end, and right. I need you to make a decision. Right. Because somebody ain't gonna be here. Right. So, are you gonna decide or not? Right. And then he does, he, he gives her the roses. Now, this is my take on the roses. I know. On the rose. On the rose. I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, it was a single rose. Yeah. Okay. This is my take <laughs> on the rose. All right. Um, he tells the story. He, he He's only given two roses in his, uh, two women in his life before. Correct. He gives it to his mama. Correct. And his stepmama. Correct. Now, I don't know about you, but for me... <laughs> I'm just a little because the the relationship has always felt awkward to me, right? I know it always has felt, and you, you go back and watch the previous videos. Yes. I have con- been it. consistent. Yes. You've been this consistent. relationship just looks awkward. It looks disjointed. It looks unbalanced, if you if you will, right? So now you have a person who gives a rose to a woman who she's only what four years older than him, right? But it's the saying. same type of roles he gives to his mama and his stepmama, right? That's problematic for me. That's just like a little, <laughs> little, little weird to me, right? Well, I mean, and he could have done a different color. Absolutely, you know, roses come in different colors. Absolutely. So you know, if he he want to do a peach or something, so he could, I, I he could have done a purple. You you know, you're royalty, you're a queen, da, yeah, da, da, but he called good. other people queens too, right? Right. <laughs> so he could have done other things, but right. I'm just like you giving her the same rose. I think as your mama. I think he's trying to symbolize things, and like you said, you know, I don't have any problem with it. If I give you something that I gave to my mother. Well, the same exact thing to my mother. What what is what are we talking about? I don't money? know. Like if it's well, money, mo- come on now. If it's money, money, is, I'm gonna take money. Right. I'm talking about <laughs> if I give you a, a a a brooch or a pen or a rose, and I give you this story of how I gave this to my mama, I gave this to my favorite aunt, I gave this to my grandmother, and now I'm giving it to you. I would I I again. It's about the symbolism because we talk about that men that treat their moms right, they tend to treat their wives right. But don't treat your wife like your mama. Right. And don't I treat know. your mama <laughs> like your wife. There is a line. And so he ain't here. So I'm just indicating that you know her being a little older, and again, it's not a big age it's difference. Four years, but it feels but, like it's thirty years. I'm sorry, but she does portray herself in a very mature way. Absolutely, yes, you she know. Does. And so her look and everything is just 
would be considered mature professional, mm-hmm. right. you know? And so in that case with him, you know, it could look a little awkward, but there's still potential there, you know, it's just the way he does things. So I'm going to just give the other perspective. We'll see. Go right we'll ahead. just see. We'll All right. see what Let us know in the comments where you think, uh, what you think of that. Did you find that a little, little strange or <laughs> are you like, oh, it was okay. It was a sweet gesture. <laughs> I just I, really, I want to know. Put it in the comments. Let us know what you thought about that because <laughs> I'm I'm looking at that. Mm-mm. All right. So uh, then Amber and KG yes get together, right? Yes, they get together. And KG starts off. He's like, I need just a little reassurance. Right. You ain't kissing Ron behind the tree. Ron, or something. Ain't, Ron you ain't hitting up Ron on your private Snapchat <laughs> or nothing, you know. And so she's like, No, I cut it off. There is nothing there. It was nothing there anyway. Right. So then they turn to talking about kids. Right. Because so, they're they've been pretty solid. They've been pretty solid. And so, you know, he's asking, he's like, hey, did I don't even know if I remember asking because mm-hmm. he said he wanted to have kids. Right. And she was like, at least one kid, you know. Yeah, she it was it was kind of like, we're gonna get one. After that, we'll we'll kind of review mm-hmm. how the process goes, we'll review mm-hmm. everything. But you you can go get at least one out at of least him, one right? out of it, right? And she's like after marriage, and he's like, oh, that's not happening anyway until after marriage because right he is, and I forget what he let us know in the comments because I forget the term that he used. You use um, semen restriction, manipulation, or semen re- restriction, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. I'm like, okay, so he's he's, he's celibate. celibate right? <laughs> he, he, he's like, look, I'm not, and he the reason he gives is he's like, look, I recognize he, for him, he's like, mm-hmm. I recognize. Sexual energy is one of the most powerful uh, forms of energy. Right. And so I'm not going to just continue right. to give that out to right. whomever, right? Right. He's she's trying to reserve for someone special because it seemed like in the past he did not reserve that for someone special. Right. And so I get that. So she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. You know, so. How long are we talking? How long are we talking, you know? And so it could be a concern depending mm-hmm. on where people are. Right. And I think those things, as you're trying to determine if you're going to be a couple, you do need to talk about those right. things. You need to work those things out. Right. So it's it's good that they are getting past the point like, okay, if we're going to be a couple, what are our compromises going to be? Right. So. Right. And I think, you know, now he does say something that I'm like, you must not have done well in biology. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because he basically is like, look... This thing is is being held up for so long. Yeah, it's gonna be so it's, potent. It's gonna be so potent. It, it don't work that way. But it I get what you were saying, right? <laughs> I get what you were saying. Um, so that's something for them to work through, talk sure. through. Not a deal breaker, I, I believe, right. in any any stretch of in any form of the imagination, no, right? No. Um, and then Kyra and AJ, AJ, yes. all these J's and G's. Kyra and AJ have a conversation. Yes, yeah, so he has a nice little spread, you mm-hmm. know. Again, AJ's doing the chasing. He's really putting his foot forward. Yep. He's trying to show how much he really wants to be in this relationship with her. And in her head, we're hearing in the background, she's talking about trying not to think about Jason. Right. And trying to be in the moment. I'm like... When you have someone, a nice looking man in front of you, mm-hmm. why in the world are you worried about somebody supposedly you don't want? Right. So, yeah. So, you know, I think that and I think it's become quite apparent, at least from what we're seeing, mm-hmm. that um, AJ is Kyra's uh, consolation prize at this point. Mm. Um, I don't think that that I think she was really trying to hold out. She last week we gave the example we said mm-hmm. that she was window shopping right right what we found right now is that Kyra she's about to get kicked out the mall so she was closer <laughs> to the AJ store than the the Jason store so she was like look I'm gonna just go ahead and find something here because by the time I get over to the Jason store it's gonna be closed right so she's trying to come up with like okay why do I like him mm-hmm. you know trying to tell Tommy too like yeah I, I, I you know we're moving forward yeah. but I'm just like it doesn't seem like it. You stuck on Jason, right? You know, but you have you didn't you didn't decide to make the decision. He was asking you to make the decision, and you couldn't say it, right? So, and as we've said before, a lack of a decision is still a decision. It's still a decision. And so, her lack of decision or lack of of giving one of them confidence mm-hmm. basically left Jason was like, "Look, well, I'm gonna go for the sure thing, right?" As opposed to the thing that's still up in the air. Because right. Jason was like, "Look, I know the store's about to close, right? <laughs> I I already got something in hand, so right. I'm not gonna try and even figure try it out. Try to figure something out, Listen. put anything out, and and you know, for Jason, it's just like 
I have a great lady here. She's mm -hmm. she's been on point. Yeah. So I think you have to also feel like Jason's been writing down like, okay, she's been on point. Right. She always knows what she wants. Yeah. Here's someone, Kyra, who doesn't know what she wants. Right. And I feel like I'm being strung along. Right. Because he knows they had history. Yep. And I think we should take that if I like, well, y'all had history. How would I know you ain't ready to connect with him? Right. Why am I putting all this energy in if at the end you're not gonna pick me? Yeah. So, so I get it. So we'll see. We'll I mean, see. Uh, we'll see if they show up because there's still more to come from Kyra. But um, then they, the lady, because she recognized she has to have a conversation with Jason still, right? Mm -hmm. Which again, if if AJ should do, what difference does it make what, what? Jason got to say? That's right, because you remember that when they met back up after that. Liz is trying to explain her experience with Jason right. in that moment of being, you know, getting a little deeper about being a couple. Right. And she laughing. Yeah, because the what ladies do? do show back up in the yes. ladies' lounge, right? Yes. And so, and Liz, like, you being disrespectful. I mean, Liz was giving the side eye And hard. even to the fact, Tommy was like, shh. I know, he was like, uh, cut it, not here. He was like, listen, this ain't that show. This ain't love and hip hop. <laughs> So, you know, it was like, and, and Kyra did try to explain that sh she was, I don't know, I, I don't know that it was a, um, a vicious laugh as much as it may have been somewhat of a nervous, like, really, this is what you kind of do in laugh? Because the way she explains it is that she's hearing one thing from Jason, but what Liz is communicating is different than what she's been hearing from Jason, right? Right. But each relationship is different. Right. And if he's willing to switch it up and say something different for her than it is for her, and that's he none of your business. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm like, now, if you want to feel like, oh, wow, you're going to talk totally like you've changed your perspective totally with another person, then you got out. Right. Right? You well, <laughs> but she, see, what she does laugh at is essentially the part where he's like, he made his decision two weeks ago. Right. And so for her, just again, playing devil's advocate. For for Kyra, it's probably a, a, a laughter also born out of the fact that, well, we was talking less than a week ago. Right. And he ain't saying nothing about he made a decision completely for you. Right. So for, for Kyra, just kind of in her defense, right? Right. Um, I, I think some of it was out of the fact that she's had conversations with Jason and what she's being told regarding where she stands, mm -hmm. where Jason is with Liz and those mm -hmm. type of things. And even what, what, cause she even makes the mention of, um, as far as with Liz wanting to, to be celibate until marriage, mm -hmm. she's like, Jason and I, that's not what we talking about. Right. 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 So she's saying she's, it's a laughter out of, I'm getting, hearing one thing and hearing another thing over there. And she even mentioned, she says, look, um, she's like, she's kind of amazed at what she's hearing. And and with Jason, not from previous times, but in this moment right now, when she's hearing. Well, Liz says she was immature. So she could have hold. There is some immaturity, yeah. She could that. she could have hold it. I'm like, hmm, that's True. interesting, you know. And then say, well, this is what I'm getting from him. True. But she decided not to go that way. True. So. So I mean, and then the other ladies kind of, you know, chime in. They're like, well, hold in. on, girl. Right. Hold on. I, <laughs> so AJ picked you, and you said yes. So why are we doing this With right Jason, now? Yeah, why are we concerned? Well, go ahead and get some clarity if you need clarity. Mm -hmm. And so she does go yeah. get clarity. And Jason's like, why am I here? <laughs> what do you want? So I, I made a decision. I said earlier, Jason says the right thing at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, because the statement of, you know, him making a decision mm -hmm. two weeks prior. Right. He walks that back and was like, huh, I forget what I said, you know. Right. Uh, you know, I'm I'm kind of unsure of what I said, da da da. Right. That's not true. Right. So now it's like, okay, so you say what you need to say to keep Liz right. in the picture. Right. And then you have conversations with Kyra to keep Kyra in the picture. Right. So it's it's almost the flip of what we've seen from Kyra, Kyra mm -hmm. in that Kyra Kyra at least is honest in saying, I don't know. I want to, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. Right. Jason is, in my opinion, saying, I figured it out, but I'm, I figured it out for you when I'm with you, and I figured it out with you when I'm with you. <laughs> right. 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 So, it, I, I. But he does very plainly state that mm -hmm. he wasn't changing his decision. 
So Which again, I don't believe. And here's why I don't believe it. Because he's already said that he didn't, that he uh, he's already had a conversation with her mm. at the ranch asking her to make a decision. Mm. He's already admitted, basically, that what he said as far as him making a decision two weeks prior mm -hmm. um, is not true. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 it's, it's not a stretch to believe that mm -hmm. if Kyra was like, you know what, I really want you. Mm -hmm. AJ, I'm not feeling AJ. Mm -hmm. Look, let's you and me run, to, run away together. Let Liz figure out Liz. Mm -hmm. I can't say that, that Jason would have been like, I'm sticking with Liz. Mm -hmm. I just can't say that because... What he's proven is that he's willing to, again, say what he needs to say in the moment. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, because because Kyra was still kind of like noncommittal in mm -hmm. some respects. Right. I, I, yeah. So that's kind of where okay. I am with him. Right. So I think that's it. Yeah. So next week we start to see. So, again, they see family, they see family. moms. And, and we've seen how family. that kind of does some 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 deal breaking in some respects. Right. I think last year we saw. Um, I forgot the girl's name that was with uh, Rashid. Mm -hmm. That daddy kind of caused her to think some things through, oh, right? Yes. So we've seen maybe some of that, but it'll be interesting. But we also get to see: Do we really have four couples right. that have found love? Right. Do we have three couples that have found right. love, or what? So we'll right. see that, we'll and see. then of course we have the um, reunion special mm -hmm. coming up after that, which will be good. Yeah, can't wait. All right. So again, listen, this that's all for this one, but let uh, definitely make sure you are hitting <laughs> the subscribe button, hitting likes, requesting notifications. Make sure you stay connected and let us know in the comments your thoughts. We definitely love and appreciate your comments and your interaction. And we'll see you again next time. Have a great one. Bye. Be blessed.